Welcome back, everybody, once again to the Sydney Jean Charles Road to the Show on MLB The Show 22. We need to get this guy into the playoffs already. And I know it's been a little while since the last episode. I was not able to get any done before leaving for my vacation last week. So it's been like close to three weeks now since the last episode, which is far from ideal, of course. As we jump back in right now, we are four and a half games up here in the NL Central with 18 games to play. So right now, we're in a pretty good spot. But we are also on Sydney's home run record chase. He's at 65 home runs right now. Next milestone would be 70. And we have a little bit of time to get there. Of course, we want to break the MLB home run record too, if possible, which I still think will be a challenge. But today we get back into the action. We have recently been playing pretty well. We won a series against Pittsburgh. We won a series against the Cubs. And now we're in a series against the Reds before our final head-to-heads against the Brewers. I did get some practice swings in as well. I swung at some fastballs and some low change-ups and feel pretty good right now. So let's get back to the show, everybody. Feels like I haven't played in a while, but that's because I haven't. Into the gap here, a long run for Jean Charles, and he'll get there with plenty of time to spare. And then Joey Gallo hits a two-run home run, so we are down here in the first. It's Sydney's first at bat today. He's hitting 375. We have runners at the corners, and it's time to do some damage. Hunter Green is the pitcher. I know we've done well against him. Why do I feel like 10 for 21 is what we are? That's because we're 10 for 18, actually. So that's pretty good, too. 0 and 1. Good try on the changeup. And then missing with the changeup, and Sydney's ahead. That's into foul territory. Going to be a tough play and enough time to go secure it in foul ground. That one just had way too much hang time on it. So not the best start to the day as we find ourselves trailing 3-0 here in the third. Joey Gallo already has a home run. And this time it's in the center and it's caught. Nice play ranging back by Sosa. Man, Stevenson goes yard. 4-0. We are also very close to 150 RBIs. Wouldn't be a record, just a pretty cool milestone. Needs nine home runs to break the season record. I love that. I've never seen that graphic before in the show. It's not normally a topic of conversation. 2-0 from Hunter Green. This one is in the left field. He was a bit late. Good gas there from Green at 99. So a little bit late on these swings. Got to speed it up a little bit. And right now would be the right time. Base is loaded. Nobody out. We're down three. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about right here. So right now, confidence is in that fastball. Got to be geared up for it. And it's chopped foul. We did get in front. Nice slider on the outside for strike two. Now we got to protect and try to put this in play. And it hits him. He just hit him 0-2. Wow. An RBI for Sid on the hit by pitch. And we get bailed out. Tyler O'Neill is next with the bases still loaded. He's out in front. This one's into center field. Up in the air and caught. It is taggable to get our fifth run across. Now we have Dickerson in a one-run ball game. It's a 3-1 count to a guy hitting only 150 with runners in scoring position. And Green blows the fastball by him. Full count with one down. 
And it's low to load the bases again. How do you keep in Hunter Green with the way this inning is going? That seems like it's a couple batters too long. He will exit, allowing five. And he hopes that Thomas Farr can keep any more runs from being charged to him. Paul Goldschmidt time. He's already homered. 2-0 already from Thomas Farr. The Reds are just falling apart here in this fifth inning. He got it to 2-1, though. And Goldschmidt hits it foul. Two strikes. This time he puts it in the air. This is out toward deep center field. Back at the wall and it's gone! A grand slam for Paul Goldschmidt! And the Cardinals have blown it wide open here in the fifth. I knew it was in the air, I just didn't realize how far it was going. Just enough. Seven runs in that inning, and one of those thanks to Sydney getting hit by a pitch. Nine to six, St. Louis. Strike one. Ah, I tried to hold back on that one, it's 0-2. Can you uh, throw one of those, uh, I guess, just a fastball inside would do the trick. What with that curveball, a nice one too. They are really throwing some tough pitches here. Attacking low in the zone, that's a really good pitch. One and two. And he got him on the curveball. Again, an excellent two strike pitch. The lead has grown as we take on Chase Petty. Wasn't he like a first round pick of the Twins not long ago? I think that's pretty much right. Yeah, I believe that was the Sunny Gray trade. And Petty trying to limit the damage. It's already 11 to 6, two more in scoring position. Sydney chasing the home run record and basically needs a home run every other day. Obviously, today he doesn't have one. He hasn't even gotten a hit. Full count to Sid. Petty has been all over the place. Three and two. This one's in the air and belted to right center field. High and back, it is gone! And Sidney puts himself one step closer to the Major League home run record. Hitting number 66 off of Chase Petty. They were blowing us out, and now we're blowing them out. It's 14-6 cards. He was trying to go up and away, and then just threw a fastball right down the middle. This one travels 415 feet. And that's ball game. 14-6. Great job by St. Louis. A nice, exciting game to get us back into the the swing of things here again. Pun intended. 4 nothing Cincinnati after 3. They're feeling pretty good. At 1.2, you know, 6-2 to two in the 5th inning. Your odds of victory have to be pretty high. And that's baseball for you. You're not doing anything impressive at the plate, but you go 1-4 for four with a home run. You had a good game. No one remembers the first three at-bats. So let's try to take this series now against the Reds. It is good to be back, though, making content again. It's just weird when I'm not doing it. Was back in Minnesota. First time since I moved to Texas. So definitely uh, a long time there. Like 10% of my life is all. I wanted to get a couple more videos done before leaving, but I think that'd be true for any YouTuber as we get the base hit into right. I was hoping that we could have our postseason match up with the real life postseason, but that isn't happening as we're already in the World Series right now in real life. Philly's up one game now. They're looking real good. I'm not sure. Like, 
winning a championship in the same year you fire your coach, like in season. That's just unheard of. I don't know if there's a modern example of that working out. Like an interim taking a team for a title in any sport. Maybe there's one I'm missing. Yeah, it's good to be back watching Arenado foul off 18 pitches before putting one in play. Making me sit on base here for five minutes, hoping I don't get picked off as he strikes out swinging. Aaron Nola is the pitcher here for the Reds, and they lead it 1-0 at the moment. Two down here, runner in scoring position. 14.7 war. That's incredible. 14. Oh, no. We're fishing for that one as it bounces like a third of the way back toward the mound. So now we have a runner at third base. If we can just get a hit somewhere. In the air left center field. Hit pretty well. This one called by the center fielder and he makes the catch. Boss battle. Let's try to advance the runner. I just want to see what I get. We're going for the easy one this time. All we got to do is bunt him over. Just kidding. Ah, they got me. Over the top of that one for strike two. A one and two count. Base hit center field. We're going down for that one. And we will have a gift waiting for us. And now a little heads up base running to get the second. Yes, Nolan Arenado gets intentionally walked. It's a relief. No fouls. Now we get Corey Dickerson. Base is loaded. Things fell apart when the Reds loaded the bases yesterday. Strike one. Two strikes on Dickerson. And that one is inside. From this angle, I kind of thought that was going to hit him. It's two and two now. Dickerson up the middle, a slow one. And safe at first, he beat it out to get the RBI. Nicely done. See, he took like a few extra steps here. It was a slow roller. He fields it. If he can just touch it there with his right foot maybe and then plant and throw, he's got him. But uh, he animates and turns the other way. That just took too long. Oh, yeah, and there was nobody out. For some reason, I thought there was, and the double play would end the inning. Instead, runners at the corners now, and one down. Just put it somewhere we can work with. Arroyo to the right side, not played cleanly. And we score again to take the lead. 3-1 St. Louis. Hello, Chase Petty. How are you doing? Two on, one down. This is in the center field, down for a hit. They wave home the runner from third. He will score, and Sydney has a three-hit day. And I wish we could play Chase Petty more often. Slider up right over the middle, thank you. It's a full count right now to Nolan Arenado. You can probably guess what the two strikes were. And now it's in play. And it should end the inning and does. But the Cardinals once again wake up here in the middle innings and take the lead on Cincinnati. And the Cardinals take this game and they take the series as well. Good start to the episode with Sydney hitting a home run, going three for four in this game with three singles and adding on to his RBIs. He's crossed 150 now. I don't think there's a milestone I care about beyond that. So now the focus is really on getting home runs. Are the gifts supposed to be in here? Because I don't see anything that looks like a boss battle gift. 
Anyway, we now have a series getting going against the Milwaukee Brewers, and we are currently five games up right now. I've never seen the standings in this menu before, but we're five and a half up actually on Milwaukee. This is cool. I guess I've never hit standings from the calendar before. But this is the last series against the Brewers. We got four games against them. This is the biggest series of the regular season. And they're at home for it too. If they can put together three or four wins, it really opens the door the rest of the way. Four games against the Brewers getting underway right now against Freddy Peralta. We like Freddy Peralta in this series. Four homers off of him. I'm not sure anybody's given up more to Sydney. I wanted five so bad right there. Fouled off the changeup a bit on top of it. 0-2. Oh on the ground. Hit right to second base for a routine out. A 1-0 ball game as we try it again. St. Louis up 1-0. Just swinging at everything right now. We've taken a couple now as he hasn't thrown in the strike zone. 2-1. Good change up. Two and two. Just off the plates. Three two to Sydney. How do you attack him here? Got him with the curveball. Nicely done to finish the at bat. Not much action going on though defensively. It's three to nothing. Peralta still in there. He's given up only three hits, but three runs. Late. Nice pitch. But again, we stay patient after the first pitch anyway and go 3-1. In the air. Out to right center. Back toward the wall. Looking up and this one is gone. Freddy Peralta gives it up again to Sidney John Charles for his 67th. I don't know what it is. Peralta's a good pitcher. But Sydney just has his number. How often has Sydney hit that pitch right there for a homer in this series? Top of the zone fastball. That is not in my wheelhouse. So this series looks to be off to a good start, at least for the time being, as this is popped into shallow center and Sydney gets it. Adrian Hauser is the new pitcher. Trying to get cute with these breaking balls here, and they're not even close. The other way hit well. Twisting toward the foul line and caught. Thought that one was maybe going to get dropped in. Michael McGreevy still in. And Yelich trying to break the shutout will send Sidney back into deep center field. And he makes the catch. 5-0. Brewers getting blanked at home in one of the biggest games of the season. Time running out. Four outs to go for the Brewers. Center field again. Here is Sidney under it. To send us into the ninth inning. One more for good measure. Why not? Six to nothing. And we end up drawing a walk here in the ninth inning. That one is blasted into center. Okay, never mind. Six to nothing, St. Louis. That should be enough, right? This is a game one win shutout for the Cardinals. Six and a half games up. The best Milwaukee can do is get to three and a half back by the time this is over. And that would require them to beat us three consecutive games. We're on to the next one now. 67 home runs for Sidney Jean Charles. Getting back to the action here in a pretty good way. Already two homers in three games. So I feel like we're on the pace that we need. Brewers right now doing fine in the wild card standings. Yeah, they're basically clinched. 
Shallow center. And this one is not dropping in. Now this game's going a bit differently. 3-0 Brewers, bases loaded. Christian Yelich against Andrew Heaney. We want to limit the damage, give ourselves a chance to get back in it. And that one is into the gap. Sydney has to play it. They'll score one and make it a two-run single from Yelich. Five to nothing, Milwaukee. And now nine to nothing, Milwaukee. What's going on? Are you serious? Nine to nothing? Well, at least we can end this inning finally. So, should we uh, maybe start that comeback now? It's the fourth inning. We're down nine. It's as good a time as any. Little chopper. Good cover. Sydney's out. Frankie Montas is going for a complete game shutout. So the Brewers were shutouts in game one. Came back with a vengeance here. Nine runs all in the first two innings. Took the rest of the night off. And that is going to be a recipe for victory as the Brewers secure the final out and even this four-game series. It's a new day, and it's game three against the Brewers. Now as a righty facing Eric Lauer here in the first. Two down, base is empty. Oh boy, just struck out on three pitches. Trying again here in the third, two down. We do have a runner on base this time. Just a piece. Inside that time. Again trying to go inside. And it's on the ground. What a stop at second to end the inning. Just got enough on that dive. We have a two-run lead now. And the Brewers only have one hit. We'll see if the uh, streak of shutouts ends. Each team has one in this series. Couple outside here from Lauer, trying to hit that outside corner. And now way outside, they're probably okay walking Sydney here, I'd imagine. In the air left center field, but he's under it. And it is caught. So they did attack the strike zone after all. And I wasn't going to let that one go by. The left fielder, Tyro. That one is into the gap. Sydney cutting it off. And we'll hold Tyrone Taylor to a single here in the fifth. And that would be just the second hit for the Brewers. It's followed up by a two-run homer. And this game is tied until we get a two-run homer from Corey Dickerson. A lot of action there. So it's a 4-2 ball game. Runner at first for Sid. That's in the air right center field. Hit pretty well, but not well enough. And that's enough. Cardinals get the win 4-3. to three. And we ensure we're not losing this series. At the very least, it would be a split. Sydney goes 0 for 4. Game 4 against the Brewers, and it's Brandon Woodruff on the mound this time. We've seen him a lot in this series, and we're 2 for 16 against him. So, we've struggled. Sydney with a runner at second base, trying to get us our third win over the Brewers. Getting greedy there on the curveball, and it's 0-2 quickly. Want to at least advance the runner if we can. Ah, fastball. We're late. It was inside. Just an ugly strikeout. Steven Matz is on the mound here in the finale. As this one is sent towards Sydney, he does have to go back but has room. And makes the catch. St. Louis leads 1-0. 
Milwaukee has two on for Christian Yelich with two down. And that's a base hit to center field. They don't have great speed at third base and are forced to hold the runner because he would have been out by a mile. Base is loaded for the Brewers. A strikeout ends the inning. It's still a slim Cardinal lead. So we'll try to see if we do better this time against Woodruff. Yeah, the ball just comes out of his hand different. Having a hard time squaring up on it. It's getting the aim right with the, uh, the PCI. Yeah. Starts off 2-0. Comes back 2-2. Two two on his game today. This one's built into center field. Going back. Yelich. It's gone. I thought maybe he robbed it. But Sidney cranks it out. Like, it didn't seem like anything was just coming out of his hand straight. And that one just came right down the middle. We couldn't miss that one. Let's see it again here. Yep, just a fastball over the middle. So close. The home runs have been there today for Sydney. The record chase is still intact. 2-0 St. Louis. That's a routine one. He makes the catch. We pull this one to the right side and cannot repeat. Can Milwaukee answer back? A walk. But that's it there in the sixth. Bottom of the seventh inning. Keston Hira facing the lefty Mats. Into left center field, and Sidney is over. They're keeping it pretty easy on him. Looking for insurance. Only two for 15 here in this Brewers series. It's been tough. Those two, though, they've been home runs, so we're happy with that. Brad Boxberger, the pitcher. Ooh, that one was nice, but we're just two in front. And now it's chopped up the middle. Kind of swinging it too much today. But we've gotten our home runs. It's been a solid episode. Now can we just finish this series? Single, fly out, strike out, double, but that's it. They get one and fall short. And the Cardinals pick up a 3-1 to one series win over the Milwaukee Brewers. And we are closing in on that division title. How does seven and a half games up sound? Pretty good to me. 99 wins now for the Cardinals. And just a handful of games to go. We have four series left in this season. This will either be one or two more videos. We'll see how the next one goes, but 12 in one episode doesn't usually happen unless I have like, you know, five offers in a row. But Sydney now has 207 hits, 155 RBIs, 68 home runs. The average did come down a bit today to 370. But I think that that was a, a solid episode overall. Let me know what you thought down below. And Sydney will be back again this coming week. I want to get us to the playoffs so we can play those intense playoff games again. And thank you for supporting the series. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.